Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the uh, non-Magic Roundabout, because I'm not at home, we have a uh, Corgi Toys High Lift Mack Truck. As you can have a look at this. It's, I have showed this on my donations and purchases video of a while back. It's badly burnt in places. Glass is melted. But other than that, it's actually complete. So we're going to see if we can do something with this. As you have a look at it, <coughs> it I'll just like to welcome all the friends of the channel back to a new video. And uh, any new friends, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. And old friends, thanks for sticking with me and uh, suffering another video. So, that being said... We can't say we'll get it off the magic roundabout now because we're not on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go um, straight into this in a second and uh, have a good look at it. Okay then, let's have a look at this then, see what we can do with this. Right, have a closer look at this. For those of you who don't know this vehicle, it's a Mack truck, a right, Corgi. Like I say, it's complete. It's got all the guard on the front. It's got the um, uh, air cleaner box or whatever that is, exhaust. The tyres are not too bad. I've seen better, but the hubs are okay. Um, it's got the back, the back jacks what come out on either side. It's got the um, it's got the uh, winding gear as you you push it in to operate. As you can see, one for the jib, one for the hook. Um, there's the other jack the other side. It's got the geezer inside. I should think he's a bit warm now. Decals there. One on the back. Uh, and it's got a flip bonnet. There's a little button lever there. You can flip the bonnet. Got an engine in there, we can put a bit of detail on that. The glass is good, even though it's a bit smoky, I think. It's not actually distorted, but it's a bit very, very cloudy. Hopefully we can do something with that. Um, this jib looks like it's off the scammel on the Chipperfield Circus. And this back, with that slot in it there, it's very much, if not, it's the same as the... Um, Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. There's another crane like this. Uh, orange and yellow. It's got tracks on it. The name escapes me, but I will remember it shortly. And just the winding gear is different on here, but it's basically the same casting. The different winding gear on the top. So, this looks a bit complex. There's quite a few plastic parts on here. This is plastic, that's plastic. That's plastic, that's plastic. Uh, to, get to get it undone, it looks like we've got one, two, three rivets there for the cab section. And there's two more rivets here, one there and one there. I think that will restart to remove the back, this back section. And there's two of those grind off pegs there and there. So, I would imagine that would then, I'm not quite sure what that back piece would release. But we'll soon find out when we get in there. Probably the chassis actually, because the chassis looks like it goes underneath there. We need to get these out anyway to paint them. Uh, I'm not sure how, yeah it's a very similar mechanism to the other one. Priestman, that's it, Priestman. The Corgi Priestman. Um, so we'll see how this comes off of here we'll get into it and have a look it's got a decent hook on it like I say it all work. I think we're going to retain this string because it's good quality I think it's original so let me get some tools out and we'll make a start ok I've got some of the bottom drilled out so let's have a look I was considering taking the, this boom off first here, but I'd rather take it as one piece. So I've been carefully turn it upside down 
and I'll drill out this one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So, let's see what we got. I have popped them slightly, so they should come. It should come out. That's obviously taking the pressure off of this, as as you can just see, has released the bonnet. Okay, so that's just trying get this. See how it comes off. That's the bonnet coming away. Now this chassis, it looks to me like it comes. There you go. It comes off like that. Oh, I see. And it goes back. It hooks under here somehow. Oh yeah, if you can see, it hooks underneath this blank, this black tank here. So when you lift from here, okay, these two tabs here, there and there, go under that tank there, go underneath there. I'm going to let the, the bonnet go for a second, we'll have a look at that in a minute. All right, so there's so much to look at in here. That's a spring. This is the spring that holds the bonnet on. That's on that. Oh, let's see. That's on that pivot there. Look, yeah. So that that clicks on, hits that, and allows the bonnet to spring, which actually sits. In there so that will sit like the uh, wrong way around sits in there like so and the bonnet will lift up and down so that's that bit and we'll leave that there and this and we'll take this spring off here because oh, we're gonna lose it I mean we can't take it off because that's not gonna lose that because that's uh, it's been peened over so it won't come out. So that's a bonus. Right, let's have a look again. We'll deal with the chassis in a second. Let's see what we've got underneath here. Right, these that's the spring for the bonnet release there. So how does that work? Goes like that then. Okay. Let's... Now they must clip in. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll click in. Yeah, these bits here. That bit there. I mean, you can see that bit. That funny angle piece there. That'll fit in there. And when you do that, it releases it here. Just there. When you push that, you see that like that, that goes on. That's quite complex, isn't it? So that's that, that's that. Uh <coughs> excuse me. Right, there's a screw at the back here. There. Just there. And if you look at this, it's loose. So I imagine that will then that will release the chassis. I think, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, it's got a washer on it. That's got a washer and a, looks like a Phillips head screw. So that release the chassis and it probably release that as well. So, let's have a look, see if I've got a, a Phillips what will get in there. Yeah, so let's have a go. Let's have a go. So, will it or won't it? Or is there something else holding it? Right, let's get it right the way out. This is the first time, folks, for me. No doubt there's people who have done this. Oh, there you go. So that just comes out. Once the screw's out, that's separate. 
Okay. But there's a washer still in there. Washer still in there. And that's still retained in there. So. That's got a lip there. That's holding that to this bit. So I think we've got to get in here and get these jacks out, I think. Yeah. So in with the screwdriver again. So I'm getting used to, this is, um, let's pull them out. I'm trying to keep this in shot because I'm, like I said, I'm not at home. I'm, uh, I'm away, so I'm trying to do this in different lighting and different situations. Try and get this off without doing any damage. That's coming off there. It should hopefully pop off this end as well. See, it's been a long video. Got to get that over that bit there. I can see this being a longest video. Right, okay. So you pull that off. With this so you've got to remember how this goes back in so that sits like so and these two legs obviously go one inside each slot either side you've got that got the legs got the cover plate now will this come off there you go and that's come off now alrighty there's your washer There, that's your washer and there's I think it looks like a flipping tire doesn't it oh my god whatever that was it's just it's a lot it's a tire they've used they put a tire on there and squashed it on look see that serrated around there and it looks to me like I've got a yeah they have it's a it's a tire and they've squashed it on. If you can see the the marks in there, look. If you can see them marks in there. Yeah, you see the same marks in there as what's on there. So as you put that on and squashed it down. Yeah. Should remove the camera slightly. Right, okay, so we'll better save all these bits. Save that bit, save that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. So that could do it, I'll probably, yeah, they, I'll try and drill through these posts. They might be all right, we get away with that. That's pretty straightforward. There was a decal on the back there. It's all burnt. Right, let's go through this. This will, these should just push out, I would say. At the front here. Yeah, they might want cutting off actually. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get in there without damaging it. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to, you're not going to pull them out to cut them off or something. Get a knife. Cut them off. Plastic, but it's not. I don't think I'll drip, drip, grind them out because I thought this was plastic on the front here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice die cast. So that goes straight in the stripper as it is. Uh, now nah, I'll take I'll, I will, I'll get it out. I'll get, I'll drill them out. Grind them out because you want to, I need to get red paint behind there. So we'll grind them out. Uh, let's get the tires off here first. Eh? These tires off here. Yeah, these some of these tires are a bit chewed up, a bit melted. A lot of tires on here. There we go. He's got them all off now. Okay, now these, yeah, I think they'll be okay, they're die cast, well they cast anyway, I might chuck these in the thingy bob, and I might just be able to, yeah, I might just be able to get the hubs out of there. That one I can. That one I won't. Well, we'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll, we'll sort that out later. Same as that. We'll just basically grind that off. Get that out of there. Let's get rid of the tyres. So we're left with this piece. Okay, so we see... What's next here? Okay. Well, that's got a rivet in it to release that. Does that just come out of there or? Yeah. That just pulls out. That's cool. Got rid of that. That's a spring to hold. I would imagine that will all come apart when the... Let's just have a look so I can pull that, pull that back. To release that. Is it going to come off that? What about this end? There you go. That's got the spring out. So that's that's okay with that. Looks like I'm gonna to have to grind that off. Yeah. I'm gonna have to grind I'm gonna have to grind this. See that there. As you can see it's like a valley in it. Across there. There and there. So I'm gonna have to try and grind that edge maybe and that edge maybe to release this cab. Because it ain't gonna come out otherwise. Yes, yeah, held in there. And that in turn will release this plastic piece here, which is wedged underneath. So I'm going to have to get a grinder out. Uh, I think we have to... Yeah, because I can't... There's nothing to lift up with there. And I, I think if I try lifting it from here, I'll just end up breaking it. I think... Yeah, it's not really going to come. I don't want to get to... No, no I couldn't. No. Let's 
going to grind that off. Okay, okay then. Yeah, I didn't uh, eventually grind that off. I, I took the ball by the horns and uh, I looked at it and I thought, well, it's not really, it's just more of a really tight fit. So I did, I managed to lever it off and it came off. So there you go, there's no grinding there. So obviously as it comes off, you see it's just a, an overly tight fit. They must have pushed it in and just, just a grab fit. So this is the interior, just comes dropped straight out. Quite a substantial piece of plastic that. This is the glass. As you can see, it's very, I might, I don't know, it doesn't seem too, well, we'll have to investigate. We'll give it a good old wash first. So that's that. And then there's, this piece is obviously where the, this is for the cab release, the um, bonnet release. That just slides backs and forwards. Obviously the, cat, the cab catches on that tab there. So that's that, and that's the bit with the spring attached underneath. So there we have it. I think that will survive that there. So there we go. That's the chassis. That's it. That's the cab top. Ready to go. Right, so we're left with this now. I just drilled them out for quickness. I know, you know, I mean, it's going to be a long video of this anyway. Um, so the top comes off. And then basically that's it. There is a spring thing there. I'm not sure what exactly that, that will do. Yeah, I think it, uh, I think that piece there, this piece, springs against there, I think. That's about it, I think. Unless that goes in, in there, I don't know. It wasn't attached in there, I don't know. I don't know. That was just sit, that just sat in there like that, and that was on there like so. It didn't go anywhere, so and that sits like that. So oh, I think the spring plate, yeah, stops it from going any further. I would say, I'm just guessing, I don't know. Yeah, sits on there, yeah, like so. Just like a suspension thing, I suppose. Anyway, I digress. That's the base. That's the boom. There's a piece of plastic at the end here. We need to get that out. That just pushes out. Just get it separated a bit. I think that just. separate them a bit I think get that out there you go come out your bugger that's it that's out let me straighten that back up so we can caustic soda that without taking all this off so that's cool so we're left with this So we can, this is the melted bit, so we could take that apart. It should come out. There you go, dropped out. You can see the heat. It's got to that at the back. 
Oh, Jerry's in there, though. He's all right, though. He's fireproof. So he is cool. That's the other melted piece. But I have a cunning plan. I had a spare priestman. So this should, in effect, go back in there. Get it all the way around. Yeah, that should go. This table's rocking. Sorry about this, chaps. I'll say that's all right. Around. I can't remember now. You'll, you'll soon find out when it goes in. Yeah, well, let's just do it this way around. Yeah, that looks like it's going to go in, doesn't it? It looks shorter because it's, this is melted. Let's hope so, anyway. Yeah, that's going to go in there, look. So there, we're good to go with that. That's great. Right, now, having a look at this piece. It's just wants cleaning up. This. You can stick it in a caustic, clean it up. But there is some rivets in here. One there, one there. One there, one there, one there, three. Now this one releases this piece and this piece. Those two, those two will release the back. So those three will release that mechanism off of there. But once you've got the mechanism off, how do you separate? How do you separate these from the mechanism? There's no scrolls in there's no screws in there. And there's no scrolls in there. And this doesn't split in half. So how did they get that? Must have been a press fit of some sort then. And if you did that. One of these has got to come off. I'll look into that. I'll look into this. If I, if I decide to take it off, then I'll explain to you how I took it off. But I'm a bit dubious. If I do take it off, is it going to serve a purpose? Because I can't get this apart. But they're getting, it might fall apart when I take it out. But then I can't get it past... You can't get it past here, and you can't get it past there. So somehow... One of these has got to come off. I don't know. It'd be nice to get it off to give it a good clean up. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. And I'll let you know what I've done with it. Right, okay. Well, we did go all the way with this this time. So I took off the three rivets at the back there. And that released that. Then it got left with that, and I was faffing about how am I going to do it. And I was just cleaning it up with a wire brush. And one of these come out. I thought, ah, oh, there you go. That's how it comes. They pull out. It's got square shoulders on it. If we can focus on that. Maybe. Yeah, it's got, it's got square shoulders on it. That one there. And, of course, then this one come out as well that's got square shoulders on as well all right and then this comes out in the middle there you go bob is your uncle and inside there is a spring but when you look there's no square shoulder for this to sit on 
goes in there. Okay, so I must just bite in there or some way. I don't know, but there's nothing square in there to bite to either. Who knows? So, it's got a little bit of a recess in there where that obviously sits there, in there. But it all goes back together again. So, we managed to get it apart for cleaning and oiling and whatever you have to do to it. So we are now fully stripped. Oh, I did take that. I managed to get the axles off in the end. Okay, so we have a massive... <laughs> have, a look at, have a look at this lot. Yeah, look. There you go, look. Yeah. So this is why it's a long time. This is a long strip down. But I think for anybody who's not done one, who want to do one, I think... Um, Hopefully, I've made it fairly clear how it comes apart. Okay, so uh, obviously the painting and stripping is fairly basic uh, stuff. I'll show you what it's like. It's all cleaned up uh, and what have you. When it's all um, shiny, and then we'll do the usual format, and I'll prime it, paint it, and gloss it, and then we'll come back to the assembly stage, which hopefully <laughs> won't be as long as taking it apart um i'll do a couple of dry runs i'll make sure i've got it i've got it right and uh there might be a bit a fair bit of gluing on this because obviously some of these you won't be able to re-drill or and if you want to tap and you won't have enough room so there will be a bit of super duper on, on this one but yeah here we go so we'll leave it at this stage for the minute and uh i'll get all these slots stripped cleaned and polished ready for prime Okay, get the camera on the screw This is all the metal parts now. All been cleaned up. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of work cleaning these up. I did a bit of filing on certain areas, especially around here. One or two bits on there what it filing down. So yeah, we're all good to go. This is the chassis, well part of the top of the chassis, bottom of the chassis, bottom of the crane. I'm going to mask up this piece because I'm going to use the uh, usual bare metal decks. So I'm going to mask all this up in a bit before I put some primer on. Um, I'm in the process of cleaning the, the wheels up at the minute. Uh, all this lot in here, as you can see. That's all been washed. There's a, still a burnt glass in there, the old one, but I left that in there. There's all the bits and pieces all been washed and cleaned. So we're getting, we're progressing. I'm just going to have to paint this, I think. I've tried to clean it up best I can. I'm going to do some more work on this, see if I can keep it without having to paint it. This one, we'll get, probably get away with that. So there's a bit of work on that, but I'm not bothered about that because that's not painted. These are all these are all going to need painting, so except for this, obviously, this is the wheels. Uh, what go on the back for the winding mechanism? So they don't want painting, and all of the uh, and all of the legs. I'm going to leave them bare metal as well. They were did have paint on, but it's all flaking off, so I've got that bang back to bare metal. So they won't want painting, just this lot here. So I'm going to have to mash that, like I said. I'm going to use white primer on this. Um, and I'm going to have to do it in stages because I haven't got enough forceps and clamps to do the whole lot. So I'll probably do the, the, the cab, the bonnet, uh, and stuff like that. And then I'll do the, the probably uh, maybe do the chassis and the base because that's black and that's silver. Anyway, we'll see. That's the next stage. Methylated spirits, primer on, and a coat of paint. Okay. Here we are, all painted and lacquered and allowed to dry for a day. Come out pretty good. Yeah, so here we go. Let's have a look then. That's the main chassis. 
I'm not going to bother. I might do a little bit on the engine, but there's not a lot to to do on there. It's a shame, really. It's a flip front, but I might do the manifolds, exhausts. Uh, yeah. So that's come out nice and gloss black. That's the other part of the chassis. This is the underside. It's got the name on it, Corgi. And everything else that's done in silver. And what I did, I masked off the the checker plate and left that <coughs> excuse me, left that bare metal. So that's that. There's a cab. And I've gone ahead and put the bull bar back on the front. And there again, I taped off that and left that bare metal. Okay. No point trying to pick out the max sign because you can't see it because the bar's in the way. So that's okay. I've took some paint off of there because that's on the on the bar and it, it rubs paint off anyway. Uh, that's the top. The cab in the yellow. I did it with a white primer. This is signal yellow. So there you go. And I'll put this back on because I realised after taking it off, I didn't need to take this, de-rivet this piece. You can get that apart without. I didn't realise that till after I'd done it. So you don't need to take this off. I'll show you when I assemble it. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, just tired. Um, I'll show you when I assemble it. And it goes back together. So that's that bit. And then there's the the main base which just sits on here okay almost like so all right right it's going to take some putting together this i won't do, i'm going to keep referring back to the video uh, that i made so that's all painted all the other parts there's some other parts in here these are the wheels they're all cleaned up and axles all cleaned up, ready to go back in. And then here's all the that's the boom, the best I can get it. Uh the tires all cleaned, interiors all cleaned, glass all cleaned, and that's the best I can get that. I'm not gonna paint that, I'd rather leave it bare battle. Uh tires. So we get it all laid out, we'll count how many bits we got, and then uh, we'll start putting it back together again. Hopefully we can do it. Okay then, it's that time again. It's assembly time. Look at all the bits we've got here. We're talking 43 parts or thereabouts. That's a lot of bits. Um, obviously it's going to take a while to put this together. So what I'm going to do, I'll do it in, the, I'm going to do the crane first. I'll show you how to put the winding mechanism in because that's the hardest or the one that you might want to see. But putting the glass back in and uh, putting the base on, you don't need to see that. So I'm going to show you that bit. It just makes the video a bit shorter because <clears throat> it's only a matter of putting the glass in and the driver and connecting the top and bottom of the base together. Um, there and there. There's only three rivets. And I'll need to let that dry uh, before... Uh, I'll move on. Uh, and things like putting the exhaust and the air cleaner in, I'll just push them in and this bit at the end of the crane jib. Those sort of small things that you don't really need to see uh, or worry about, uh, we'll, um, we'll bypass that. Just makes it a bit easier. You can see the difference between... This is the, uh, the new... Sorry, I get picked up. This is the new glass. And this is the one that was melted. You can see the difference where it's... It's the difference in the size, it's shrunk with the heat, obviously, and distorted. So we got rid of that. Okay, I was lucky actually with the cab glass come up clean, but this has got a it suffers a slight bit of shrinkage, but not too bad. Um, not too bad not to get away with it, but it cleaned up nice. Look at that, that cleaned up nice. So it's a little bit of um. A little bit of distortion still in it, but it's not as bad. 
nowhere near doesn't want a new one but you can see on the side to side bit there's a little bit of a where it started to shrink so god knows what happened so we managed to save that uh i think i showed you the decals i can't remember now yeah the decals on the back i'm not happy with these decals um because the yellow has started showing through there wasn't any white backing on this and the yellow started coming through uh, this side's perfectly all right that one and uh, the long vehicle which goes on the back that's fine uh i did do one or two small details not too much didn't go overboard with it just did the exhaust and the on that and there uh i might have already showed this i can't remember uh, and the handles and stuff on there okay i've got a little bit of chip paint now i've got to do when i finished um something dropped on it unfortunately but anyway let's get on let's crack on right um i want to i need to clear the decks a little bit first so give me a second i'll clear the decks and we'll get uh, one bit on at a time here we go then okie dokie then so you can that and there put the spring in that bit okay then put that connecting piece on there so now i've got a spring action squeeze together and just shove it in there okay now these pieces basically you can just put one either end and squeeze them in they have got square shoulders on them but the shoulders on the inside of these are, are basically worn out now so you squeeze them up as tight as you can and there you've got your your action now one two okay now you can in fact you could tap them with a hammer really just to tap them down just to make sure they're going in best you can I'll hold that one there there you go so that's your that's your thing back on all right right we're back on but the man, best off put your driver in. A bit of a tight squeeze, get him in there, but that's why he's soft. Put your front window in first. That's your best bet. Get that up as far as it will go. Nice and tight. If you can get it in there. Get it nice and tight. Then slide your man in with his controls okay and he'll go up there like so there you go good old Jerry he's back in his place and then you have to muck about putting this back in now all right t so you can sit that back in there this is where it gets a bit tricky because you go out of camera shot now what i did do with this the base of this i lifted the spring this spring plate slightly you can see it i just lifted it slightly to give it a bit more pressure And drop that on there okay that should be located now hopefully okay all right and i drilled the rivets so it's got a bit of spring 
to it now when it goes back up there. All right. So all things being equal. We'll get that glued on there. Make sure it's on proper. It's on there now. Okay, so I'm, that's that's the that's the that's the crane cab assembled. So I'm going to super glue these rivets in, and that's going to go to one side and dry. All right, that's all the uh, crane jib on and all done. Okay, well the next part, what I've done ahead of here, is put the air cleaner box on, put the exhaust on. Straightforward, it's not rocket science. Put the window in, which is a loose fit anyway. But we're having problems with this interior keeps dropping out when you put it in. Okay, it's a bit of a loose fit in there, to be honest with you. And it, it does keep uh, dropping out. Whether the heat shrunk it slightly, I would say it probably has. But it's a good condition. I don't want to change it if I don't have to. So what we're going to do is drop that in there. All right, so that's in now. That's all. That's all good to go. All right. And it's just a bit wobbly. So when I'm putting the um, chassis on, it's going to be awkward. Every time I tip that up, it's going to fall over. Now with the chassis, you have to put the spring for the cab tilt for the um, bonnet tilt that has to go in all right so it has to go in with this spring loader at the bottom underneath in that slot there like that yeah so it can move backwards and forwards so for me to order to to um do this properly i'm going to put the spring in underneath here Okay, just get it, put it, and hook it in the chassis. There you go. That's in. All right, and it's it will operate once the uh, once the cab is on. All right. So that way now I can turn this upside down and put the cab on there. Now I'm going to need two pairs of hands here because you've got this piece. The V piece there, the front there, and these two pieces go one in that slot there and one of these two slots. There. I'm going to need two pairs of hands, so it's just a matter of pushing it down and getting it to stay in place. Okay, so I'll quickly do that. Moving on, moving on, we got the cab down. Yeah, I just had to put a bit of pressure on the roof to get that piece there to sit push right in. Okay, so that's in there, cab's on, let's hold it all in place. Now the next operation is getting this on, and you see the slide pieces at the back, the metal slides, the legs. Well, you can't put them on first, because they go in there. Because this has to go on, this part of the chassis has to go on, because it hooks in there, yeah, and goes down like that. Now if you've got this in place, this plate in place here, then you can't get this, chassis, this part of the chassis in. You know, that part then goes on the top, hooks underneath there, okay? Now, I did try this on a dry run, and you can't get it in, so this has to go on later. But the other problem is this has got to go through there and be screwed on, yeah? But I don't want this thing flapping about when I'm putting the rest together. So what I'm going to do is you've got to put your tyre on. Now this tyre here, I managed to get a, it's a 15, 15 millimetre. I went through my spares box and I kept the old tyre what fell apart and I pieced it all together and it came out and I got this tyre. So you put that tyre in there like so. Okay, it has to be a, Square one like that though, okay. Put it in like that. Then put your washer piece in, like so, okay. It don't 
do anything. It just sits there for, for, for now. And you can just drop your screw in. This is, this is what I'm going to try and do. Just drop your screw in. Like that. Then this. Hooks in, hooks in there like so. And then it has to be pushed down. You have to push that in there so it's nice and tight. Okay. That's the way it goes in there like so. Yeah, the screw might drop out. But at least I can get the screw in. All right. So that's got to be pushed all the way down round. Right, so that's in place. Now you can put this back piece in. All right. This piece here with the legs. All right, I'm trying to get this out of the way yeah, a little bit so it's not in your way. Okay. So once that's in, then this will go on. And you're nearly there then. Nearly there. All right. But they, you've only got to put your cab, cab tilt on before you put the chassis on. So it's a bit tricky to get it in the right order to put it back together. It really is. So these have to be with the open pattern to the top like that. Okay. Like so. I won't get this, if I remember how to get this right now. I did this the other day on a dry run. I'm just trying to if I can get it right on camera so you have to slide them they've got little they've got little bits on the end there that was it facing yeah that faces up that slides in like so so it moves sits in so it can't see but it won't come any further out than that so you slide that in there slide that one in there and they should we can get them somewhere near. Like I say, it's, it's a bit fiddly, it's a bit jiggery pokery, but you get them in. We'll get them in. I think that one fits in like so. That one fits in like so. Just pull them, pull them out a little bit as well. Just a little, just a, just a fraction like that. Okay, now this then should fit on, and you want to be this side facing out, so it's like that. Okay, so it's like so. So it sits like this, yeah, and then these should pull out easy enough. Yeah, one, two. I think they've got a the right way around. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they go out like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now I've got. To, I have to glue this down now. All right. So it won't stay. But before I actually commit myself to gluing it down, just make sure this fits in. This piece here, we'll put under the back of that little tank there, behind just behind the screw. So I'll just push that screw down a bit further. All right. Okay. Now this is where you're going to have to put this on here before you put this chassis on, because as you'll see, you won't it it, it won't uh, it won't do it. So that will click underneath there. All right. I think the screws in the way at the minute, but yeah, that that clicks underneath there somehow. And then these, and these go on here. And they'll, they'll all click down together. So I've just got to make sure that I've got the right fitting underneath here. Yeah, I think that's, that, uh, that's it. You've got to push it right down like so. All right. Because it's got a new tire in the back. And that's causing it to to do this so you need to put a bit of pressure to get that to sit right so yeah we'll have a look at that make sure we've got that 
make sure I've got it right before I uh, do it. So it's got to come out again now. So I'm going to screw this, screw this on here now. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to glue this. Let me glue this first. That's got to be glued on. That ain't going to, that ain't going to change. That's going to stop where it is. And the chassis is sitting right down, so that won't change. Okay. Alrighty. That, sh that chassis is sitting right down as far as it will go. Right, I'm going to glue this. I'm back in a second. Okay. As you can see, I've got the screw in there. This is all operational now. Not a problem. That's all dried screws pushed the tire down slightly. Make sure your spring's got the long piece sticking out the front. So basically now it's going to put the chassis on. I mean, it's not rocket science, that. That hooks over there like so. And then your chassis goes... If, I can, if I'm still in shot, hopefully... Drops in like so. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the rivets in, and then we'll get it on the magic. Right, there you go. It's all together. I just stringed it as well. I needed two pair, but you know I'm like with knots. I'm pretty rubbish. So she's all there. I've got the jacks out at the bottom, so you can see those. Save me doing it on the magic roundabout. Got the flip front working. That's okay. There you go. Now you have a look at the jib working. Get my hand out of the way. Get the oh, I better come back here, ain't I? Uh, hook lowering. There you go. Mechanism. Jib lowering. And iron. There you go. Job done. Okay, and she and she turns. Oh, get the oh, milk's fell off now. Yeah, <laughs> I need to stick milk on better than that. Right, oh, anyway, she turns. And the camera's not on the way. There you go. Put the legs back up in there. That's it. It's gonna just <laughs> do my hook, put my hook on the end of there, and we we'll get it on the roundabout. This is what we started with: a uh, Gorgie Toys high lift mat truck, all burned here and stuff. So now have a look. And see how it all ended up. Have a look at this. Here we have it then. All done and dusted. All hooked up. Ready to move. Yeah. Well, this is a long video. I apologise for that. But I've never done one of these before. And I'm sure there's a few guys out there or a few people out there who've never done one either. Who would be interested to see how it comes apart. And how we got it back together again. So that's what we did. So we could put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I've got a few of these mat trucks to do anyway as the tractor units. So it was a good practice for me to get this get this going and working. I enjoyed this one. I'm sorry it's a long video, but I'm sure you'll speed through it if you don't want to watch it. Okay then. I'm not going to hang around too long. You see it all working. The bonnet flips open. The crane works. Uh, everything works. So I hope you like this one. Look forward to your comments. And we'll see you again next week. With another restoration. Okay though. Onwards and upwards. See you later. Bye.